tornadoes. Super powerful, super windy, super destructive. Depending on how big, how strong they are, they have a category. EF1, EF2, EF3, EF4, EF5, EF6? Is there an EF10? And what would happen if it did exist? Before we answer that though, we have to back up and understand speed. We'll talk about miles per hour because that's what the National Weather Service, a function of Uncle Sam, uses. We don't use kilometers per hour here in the United States. We use miles per hour. That is, how many miles can we go in one hour? There's a whole video about it from way back when, when we first started the channel. This right here is the speedometer. The speedometer lets us know how fast we're going and you'll notice that it's in miles per hour. The bigger the number, the faster we go. Whoa, this one goes up to 130 miles per hour. That's really fast. Basically, the bigger the number, the faster you go. EF2? Faster than EF1. But what does EF1 or EF2 even mean? Uh, according to the U.S. National Weather Service, the Enhanced Fujita or EF scale went into use in 2007. It assigns a number based on estimated wind speeds and related damage. So while any tornado is powerful and fast, the EF0 or gale tornado is the weakest. It has wind speeds of about 65 to 85 miles per hour. That doesn't mean the tornado is traveling 85 miles per hour on the ground like a BMW on a highway. It just means the wind is moving that fast. We can expect light damage, like broken tree limbs or damaged signs. EF1, the madre tornado. This one can start to push cars, mobile homes, even peel roofs. Expect wind speeds of 86 to 110 miles per hour. EF2, I promised you at least an EF5, so this isn't the big daddy of tornadoes, but it's still a whopper with wind speeds of 111 to 135 miles per hour. EF2 is known as the significant tornado. This one lives up to its name. It can destroy roofs, start picking up cars, snap trees in half, or even destroy mobile homes. Do you know what can't snap trees in half? the greater gator he does have a class however you can join it at the link below just ask your mom dad or uncle bob how we have full-length episodes we have guides it's a community of problem solvers next up on our list is the severe tornado ef3 with wind speeds of 136 to 165 miles per hour we're looking at a big boy even sturdy homes can have their roofs and walls completely ripped away Trains can be pushed over, forests be losing their trees, cars go flying. How much worse can it get? EF4 worse. But that's better than EF5 or EF6? EF4 means 166 to 200 mile per hour winds. Again, that doesn't mean the tornado is blasting past the Porsche on the Autobahn. It speeds up to 200 miles per hour. It means the wind speed or the tornado's wind speed is that fast. Houses are obliterated. Cars are thrown and missiles are generated, such as trees and telephone poles, etc. They're just flying through the air like a rocket. Before we wrap up this video, remember that if a tornado warning has been issued, that means there's a tornado in your area. Get with your mom, dad, or guardian and seek shelter. If you're outside, don't get in a car. Find the lowest area possible, like a ditch. Lie face down, hands on your head. If you're inside, don't go near the windows. Get to the basement, or if you have no basement, get inside a room with no windows. Cover yourself with blankets or mattresses so you don't get pelted by flying objects like bricks or wood particles. And now, the EF5. Spoiler alert, there is no EF6 as of this video's recording in the year 2024, so no EF10 either. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint. The EF5 is the last category because it is the category for any tornado with wind speeds in excess of 200 miles per hour. 
We're talking incredible damage. Imagine everything that happened before with the F4, the EF4, excuse me. <laughs> Only this time it's worse. And an EF5 tornado can pick up a car and send it flying through the air like it's a measly old avocado. Seek shelter immediately. Welcome to the bonus section. Which tornado has wind speed?